This video is going to be all about LinkedIn outreach and specifically how to send 200, 300 messages to LinkedIn premium users on autopilot. And I'm going to show you the exact steps that you have not seen from anyone before because I've actually created an automation myself. Once again, that will help you guys send those messages automatically so that you don't have to do the hassle yourself. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into it. Okay, so as you can see here, as always, I've created this simple document that you can always find below in the description where I'm giving away all of the resources from this video that I'm going to be using. And uh, let's look at it. So the first step is to obviously purchase Sales Navigator because what we are going to be doing is uh, contacting people like via the strategy of LinkedIn in mails, okay? And for that, you need Sales Navigator, but uh, it costs around $160 for most of you. But uh, what I actually did is I have published a video here on YouTube that uh, actually shows you how to purchase Sales Navigator for $20. So uh, I shouldn't have published that for free. By the way, it, it was uh, it is a bit, a bit of oversharing. But anyways, I'm trying to maximize the value for you. So uh, that's why I'm here. So watch the video. If you have not already, if you want to implement a strategy, you will need Sales Navigator. Now continue. Step two, lead sourcing and filtering, okay? So uh, what we can do here in Sales Navigator, let's just uh, follow the steps and I will explain to you exactly how this thing works. So first things first, we need to create a Sales Navigator search with optimally 2,500 users, okay? I will explain why that is in a minute, okay? So here we, have in, here we are in the Sales Navigator in the... Uh, filtering section and what we want to do is just select our target audience so let's say that i want to create i want to target uh, coaches that are in uh, let's say florida all right they are active post on linkedin and they are let's say self-employed okay so this is my target audience obviously you can go into much more detail here so what i uh sometimes use is the industry filtering it can also be years in current position it can be the groups that they are in i'm gonna be shooting uh, videos on groups outreach pretty soon so stay tuned uh if you have not subscribed already and you are into outreach you are doing a big mistake please uh, make sure that you're subscribed right now if you are not because uh, I'm publishing here the things that uh, some people let you uh, pay for and they let you pay big for it, okay? So let's continue here. The goal here is to actually get about two and a half thousand results. And uh, this is for a reason that on LinkedIn, in Sales Navigator, they only let you see the first hundred pages of results. So you cannot see past that. So that means we only get uh, 2,500 people that we can see and use so uh, it's essentially a waste of leads if you uh, explore more if you have like more than two and a half thousand results okay now once you have the list let's continue with these steps that i have uh, prepared for you now we are going to be using a tool called evabot okay it's called evabot evabot extension i don't have any affiliates to this extension i just found it recently and it's a really cool tool uh, disclaimer disclaimer for most of you you're gonna have to pay for this you only get about thousand uh, leads for free in that extension but it's not really that expensive so let me actually show to you how that looks like right so you uh, install an extension you create an account and now as you can see here I can click here on export with uh, Eva bot now when I do that uh, what it does is that it redirects me to their uh, web application it is asking me here to, because I have more than uh, 2,500 results, but I can just extract the first 2,500, okay? Now, when I click on that, I get directed to the EvaBots uh, panel. And this is where I name my lead list. So, in this case, it would be uh, coaches, I don't know, coach Florida, right? Coach Florida, right? And then I would just click on export the leads. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm not really targeting the coaches at this moment. But uh, you would just click here and then what would show up here, it would start the export. The reason why we are doing all this is that uh, I will then 
show you the automation that lets us automate the sending out of the messages and we only send out the messages to the premium users because on LinkedIn here you can only reach out to the premium users for free right so let's see if you click here on the premium user as you can see here you can uh, see that by this and if you click on message it says uh, free to open profile right because uh, most of the premium users are open profiles and you can only message open profiles for free okay so for example if you click on this profile that is not premium we cannot message him right we need credits and you only get about 40 credits per month so uh, this is not really that viable for us okay if you want to scale this operation up we need to uh, only target the premium users and this is something to consider depending on what niche you are in uh, it might not be the most convenient strategy because uh, you like want to target a niche where the people are actually paying for these uh, premium subscriptions on LinkedIn because we can only contact those people right so in this case coaches are uh, just notorious for paying for LinkedIn Premium, so that's why I selected this niche for this specific example. But I've actually already uh, scraped a list here and uh, where I target agencies. So this is how it looks like, right? You just click here on download once it's ready, and this is what we get. And this is uh, so amazing. So you get all of the premium users and non premium users where you can actually filter them, right? So if you check here, Prospect is open profile and prospect is premium, right? And we can only message open profiles for free. So what do we do here is uh, we just click here and add filter. Once we do that, we just uh, let here the uh, open profiles that uh, are premium. We actually uh, can only contact those that are premium, right? So uh, let's create the filters once again. And so we will filter based on those conditions. So we just keep here the true here and true here. And it lets us uh, with only the uh, open profiles, right? And once you do that, because this is like, this is gonna allow us to straight go forward and contact those premium members. Because what you would normally do, if you, for example, want to do like a manual outreach on LinkedIn, on specifically for emails, you can just go here, start here in the first place, you click message to the uh, premium member. Now you click message on the another premium member, right? But you have to go through these uh, non-premium members that you cannot contact and uh, you have to go through 100 pages, right? So that's not really that convenient. And this is why this uh, extension is so good that it allows us to filter all of these prospects and we only are left with the premium members. So once you do that, you just copy this, the whole, uh, in, all the rows in the sheet and then you actually need to create another sheet you're gonna paste them you're just gonna paste the results here and then we are gonna uh, continue on with the steps so let's come back to the document real quick where uh, we'll continue right so we go to search click on ever but even bot button I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly you export the list you download the list and you pour it into Google Sheets to apply the filters right and uh, copy all the rows and insert them into a new sheet. We did that, right? And now is the third step where we actually contact the leads. And this is where I've developed my own automation as uh, I did in uh, videos before, I kind of like this. And uh, this is gonna allow you to send out those emails to those members uh, right away. So first things we need to do is actually go here, click on Axiom. And uh, most of you probably already know Axiom since I have uh, used it in the past videos. But for those of you that don't, you can maybe check out my past videos where I go more into details. But you just download extension, you create an account here. And once you do that, you have the extension here. All right. The next thing is you import uh, this automation here. Okay. So here is the automation that you can download that you should need to download if you want to apply this. So you just click here on download and then you go into the Axiom and it will look like this, all right? The way to do that is you click on new automation, then uh, import automation and select file and then you select the right file, right? I've already did that, so let's just uh, 
skip here and this is how the automation looks like right uh, let me show that to you so we need to do uh, actually three things here so first we need to uh, select the uh, right uh, spreadsheet that we are going to be using so in our case it's going to be this one called agency Washington and we need to select the right sheet right sheet uh, one now we need to create a script so uh, hi you can actually personalize this right so uh, what you can do here is you can uh, click here clear all and just select the first name that is here and uh, then click save once you have the script figured out all right and then uh, you need to click here and also select once again the same uh, sheet where we are going to be deleting the sheets right so how it's going to work is that it's going to go through starting on the second row it's going to go through it it's going to take the first name and last name and it's going to go here into linkedin so let's uh, let me show you how this works it starts here in sales navigator go here then inserts the full name and then clicks here on uh, the contact button and uh, you can contact them. Some, some of the guys you cannot contact, so it automatically skips them and uh, continues on to the next one, right? So uh, this is that for the automation. Let me show where I ended up. All right. So once you insert this, you just have the text to do, right? And uh, we can just leave it at this. You hit save. Also, maybe for some of you, when you download the list, uh, there might be a problem with uh, you inserting the data. So as you can see here, enter text search. This is where we are inserting the first name and the last name. So let me show you how that works. So clear all, you just select the first name, space, and the last name, okay? Then we hit save and we run it. So for most of you, I recommend it to run it in uh, with the desktop app because uh, when you're running it with the desktop app, you're running it from the same IP address that you normally use. So it's not really suspicious to LinkedIn because if you run it in a cloud, uh, you are running it from some uh, proxy that uh, the Axiom providers are using. So it's it can be suspicious to LinkedIn. So I would uh, recommend you to download the desktop app. It's for free, so it doesn't matter. And then run it from that. So when we uh, actually do that, uh, there is this another browser that's called Chromium that will open up and it will start the automation for ourselves. So let's look at how this uh, actually works. Okay, so there's been an error where I was uh, I actually needed to refresh the uh, automation, but there's also one thing I realized is that uh, we forgot to. Uh, edit the subject so if you click here on the try uh, step 5.2 you can actually enter the subject here so you can just call it uh, I don't know hi hi first name uh, I'm just using example here I'm not using this uh, for the uh, outreach itself uh, obviously but once we have that we just click here on save and everything is prepared and now we just uh, see the automation run okay so as I said, the Chromium opens up and uh, we're gonna see the magic here. <laughs> so what it does, it goes into Sales Navigator and then it enters the, fir the first name and last name, clicks here on message, tries to message it. In this case, we cannot message the person. So what it does, it's a, that it deletes the person from, from the row and continues uh, with another person okay so there is no uh, way you can get into error as far as i'm concerned so as you can see here it deleted the uh, second row and right now we are entering a new name and uh, this is how it continues right now when it can actually send out the message it enters the uh, subject and the uh, message itself automatically sends out the message and continues on. So I will just show you like one last piece of it. And uh, then we are gonna end it right here. So, okay, as you can see here, 
message another one and uh, once it messages the specified number you can also specify here how many people you want to message so in our case I just selected 200 you can select how many you want once you uh, once it finishes it uh, turns off and you're done but there's a uh, caveat to this okay for some of you you're gonna want to uh, start on the free trial and so that means you only have like 30 minutes of runtime to uh, do this I think you should be able to get like 100 messages off in this amount of time and uh, if you actually want to like bypass this and continue the uh, free trial longer time what you can actually do is before it runs out or you can either let it run past 30 minutes so it you let it crash after 30 minutes so the runtime doesn't count or you can uh, stop the automation when you are comfortable with ending it and then you run run it again so these are the ways you can like uh, essentially prolong the free trial there but it's also real affordable automation itself now that, that is going to be it for the automation let's just go to the steps you download the extension you insert the automation here you insert the exported sheet in the second and eighth step you insert the script in the sixth step you adjust the number of messages you want to send out and uh, i recommend running it in the desktop okay the last thing here is that if you have any questions about this and uh, I'm sure for those of you that are actually trying to implement this, you will have questions. Please make sure to join our uh, free community, completely for free, called Cashflow Clan, where you can ask us any question you want. And we'll happily uh, answer with uh, my brother David as well. He's also on YouTube, so you can uh, check him out. Okay, this is all that I have for you. So you don't have to always ask me in YouTube comments. You can go here in the community and actually talk to other members and share your knowledge here as well. That's uh, everything I have for you guys in this video today. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please leave me feedback below if this is the type of stuff you want to see. And uh, make sure that you subscribe if you are not already. And uh, you can also leave me a like if you like the video. Now, this is going to be it. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.